Hey guys, Michael here from Cruise Tech. Um, we've got uh, ThinkPad T14 and uh, ThinkPad T14S coming to us in less than two weeks. Uh, so we're actually super looking forward to get you guys a hands on what they're like to use and, um, and any sort of change from the T4 1995 generation. Um, T series is um, Lenovo's very popular machine. This generation will be quite a big jump in the AMD side. Okay, so the, here's the spec for the T14 that we have. It's um, reasonably high. I chose the Ryzen 7 because I'm going to give you the 8-core processor, which is actually quite amazing in a laptop if you think about it, in the, especially in the 15 watts power envelope. Really super looking forward to it. Another reason is also because the 16 gig um, onboard option seems to be tied with the Ryzen 7 at the moment, um, which, you know, it's, it's fair. I mean, I know obviously some, quite a lot of people will be using the Ryzen, um, Ryzen 5 um, version in reality, you know, a year or two down the road. From our perspective at the moment, it's just Ryzen 7 performance is, I think, on paper, it looks to be the pinnacle of where we can be in this year's model. So I think we just want to get a hands on that. Obviously, the model we've um, got some coming in, it's got 32 gig of RAM, so it's got the 3200 megahertz RAM to match the 3200 megahertz on the board. If we can manage, we'll probably try to order the 32 gig um, same frequency single stick RAM to take it up to 48 and see how if there's any actual performance difference. Really looking forward to it. With that processor, there's obviously also the thermos, but maybe not as much to worry, but it's probably too early to say. It's um, seven nanometers, so it's, you know, uh, we'll see how they do. Low powered the screen, so maybe that helps the battery a little bit. I'm just trying to think anything else. One of the quite compelling comparison might be versus the T490, how the chassis actually stack in terms of quality, other aspects, and obviously any additional comment, let us know. Se second part, so the T14, it's a surprise, it's actually coming to us tomorrow, so over the weekend, hopefully I can have a play and get a sort of hands-on video for you guys early next week. So I think the T14S, that's the model with all the upgradable RAM. Um, <laughs> um, Okay, um, anyway, it's, um, it's gonna be interesting. It's probably targeting the carbon users, but, um, who probably doesn't have as much budget allocated for the laptop, uh, which, you know, is perfectly reasonable. T14 and T14S, um, both the AMD version don't have the Thunderbolt 3. So I think that's the obvious change from the Intel's one. And neither of them have the Nvidia option. The screen option is a little bit more limited than the Intel's version and the top end price for the T14 is a little bit lower than the Intel. Um, I think we're not quite sure if we can see the in the UK at least um, the six core version of the Comet Lake um, T14 yet but um, I think maybe in time it will show up but I think in this generation the processor and value for money wise I think your money is probably on the AMD. Anyway, um, Whatever you think might be useful in the video, do let us know in the comment. We might not, you know, have as much time to do benchmarks, that sort of thing, because we know this kind of content will show up on notebook checks, other review sites. Um, we're just keen to give you guys a hands on more quickly. Anyway, it's, um, let us know and uh, we hope to bring you the content soon.